I don't like Demon Hunter personally. I don't like playing against it, I should say. I don't mind the class. We'll just talk about the Titan real fast. I think the Titan's good. I think the Titan will see play. Mana cheating is really good. So Demon Hunter is probably going to want it. Also, this is just a really good minion. So I'm a little nervous for it, to be honest. But I don't think this is the worst of the problems. I did see this card when I woke up this morning, chat. And my day was already ruined when I saw it. Let's read it together. Five and a four five battle cry for the rest of the game. Cast a copy of the first spell you draw each turn at enemies. Dude, I don't know what the problem is with Demon Hunter, but they just don't want them to cast mana. They don't want them to spend mana. This is ridiculous. Okay. And this is the problem with this card is if you get to play this on turn five, I think the game's just over. Like you, maybe there's some points where you just, you don't want to cast an extra copy of the spell that you draw each turn, but in almost every reality you're putting this card in to your, like your deck, the spells you're going to play probably want to be cast for free. It is absolutely insane with Relic Demon Hunter. And if I'm going to be honest, man, if I'm going to be honest, I think this is going to be the most miserable thing to play against. I think it's going to be really fun for the people who are playing Demon Hunter. Like all, all like always, but I hate this card. I'm, 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 I'm looking at this card. I'm already tilted and that's, that's a pretty big, um, problem for me. I think it's bad. And what reality is this bad? Cause if it said cast, if it just said cast the first spell you draw each turn at enemies, I don't think it would have been that good. But the fact that you get a copy, like that means that you, like, let's say you draw a relic, right? The relic not only upgrades itself. You get to cast the, the relic for free, but then you also get another relic in your hand. It's not, you get tempo, you get value, and you're just playing a five and a four or five, which again, it's not great, but I think most of the time you're pretty happy with just playing a five and a four or five to get this. I, and it's at enemies. I, I don't like it. Draw a buff and give it to enemy minions. No, but you, you have put this in a deck where you legitimately want this effect. And every single time you put this into your deck, you are just absolutely stoked if that's the case, right? Dude, I I, I just, I, I don't like these effects because this is like, so we have Inza right now. Inza is the five bit of five, five that makes all your overload spells, or I think it's just cards actually, cost one less. That card is not, that card's good, but like the overload package is just not insane enough for us to be really worried about, right? But, Demon Hunter has a lot of really good. I don't know, man. I, I could keep going on about this, but I am not excited to play against this card. And I hope it's not meta. I, this is the type of card that I really hope is not meta game. And I can see it being nerfed immediately. So we'll see. All right. Runic Adornment, two mana spell. Discover a spell that costs three or less. Shuffle two. <laughs> Why are they allergic to casting spells, bro? Let them spend their mana. why man like it i don't understand why demon hunter gets mana cheating i i don't understand why that's the identity of the class it's so <sighs> uh, it's just i hate this already man it's so good especially because it, it tells you three or less and generally I, not even generally almost all of demon hunter spells are good for three mana or less oh jesus probably gonna be played crystalline statue two mana five four rush starts dormant after you draw four cards this awakens i mean that's not bad. It's not like it's hard for it. Worst case scenario, you play this on turn two and it takes you what to turn six to just play this for free, or I guess to play this, but almost always Demon Hunter is going to be drawing spells or just draw, drawing cards in general, right? It's really good relic. I don't know. That's, I mean, it's, it's good. I'll tell you what. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, hold on. I don't know if it's it, it, depending on how. Hmm, I don't know if Demon Hunter even needs this to be honest. Momentum five mana spell. Give your hero plus four attack. Cost one less for each card you draw this turn, dude. I swear to God. <laughs> dude, I'm I'm not gonna have this expansion is over, chat. It's it's not even out yet. This expansion is already finished. Oh my god. So this isn't five mana. This is four mana because if you draw this card, it's already four mana. <sighs> okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, we'll get back to that card in a second. Uh Iridar Deceptor, four mana three three. When you draw a card, summon a one one demon with rush. It's a demon. 
I mean, that's fine. I mean, this is not. I guess if you get to play this card first, then draw a bunch of cards, it's kind of sick. But I think most of the time, this card's probably too slow. You'd have to go for like a pretty sick combo with this. And th this this doesn't look like it's enough mana cheating for me to really be excited for it for Demon Hunter. The problem with this card is like, yeah, this card's fine. But why would I play that when I could just play this? It's it's kind of nonsense, isn't it? All right. Uh, our Unite Golem, three minute one five, has plus one attack for each card you draw on this turn. Oh my God. I mean... That's okay. This isn't bad. This is fine. This is okay. So when you play this, it's a three bit of two five. And then when you when you go again, it's a three. It's always a three minute two five. Worst case scenario. But then you can draw again. Okay. And then there's more cards at the top here, Chad. Give me a hot second. Oh, hold on. Okay, not at the top. Give me a second. Go back to the main page. Let's see what we got. Weight of the world, three mana forge spell, draw two cards, forge, draw cards until you have many cards. Dude, fuck off, man. Okay, the only good thing about this is that you have to forge it, but this is literally divine favor if you forge this card. <laughs> Dude, no way, man, they print this card. No way, man. No way. I mean, worst, worst case scenario, it's a three mana draw two. Which is fine. Demon Hunter played that already to begin with. And then you could forge it if you want. Oh my god, bro. It's a Divine Favor in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. They 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 put Divine Favor in the Hall of Fame because they didn't want Paladin to have draw. Or as insane draw as that. <laughs> the, the problem with this card is like, I don't even know what deck you want this in. So it's probably not there's so many, there's so many. Oh my god, okay. That's what it looks like. It's forged. God damn, bro. Imagine holding this huge ass round boulder with your one hand. Jesus. Disciple of Argus. Three minute two two death rattle. Summon two two elementals. Summon two 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 elementals with taunt. Okay. I mean, this is a good example of a card that's probably not gonna get played. It may be an arena. I mean, that's actually it's not a bad amount of stats though. It's it's three mana for six six of stats. It's, so if you're if you're playing like an aggro deck, I could definitely see it. Is is this it? Oh, this is card too. Seven mana, three ten, life steal, demon beast, mythical terror. Look at that beauty. The enemy return force all enemy minions to attack this. That's pretty sick. Is there anything else I missed, chat? Is there anything else I missed before I cry myself to sleep tonight? This is what the totem looks like. Anyways. I'm gonna just say this right now, chat. If this card's playable, like if this card on its own is playable, I'm probably not gonna play Hearthstone that much. I, I just I, I can't if this card is meta, I'm gonna have the least amount of fun in Hearthstone, probably. Because this card is just ridiculous. It, it feels so like maybe I'm over over um maybe I'm expecting this card to be better than it actually is. But if this card is playable, it's not gonna be fun. It just won't it just won't be fun to play against. And it's gonna feel absolutely miserable. It's almost the equivalent of like when your opponent drops Raz on turn five, but it doesn't need to be Highlander. So that feels awful. And this isn't even like a, is it broken or not? It, it just reminds me of quest lines. And I don't want to play a quest. I don't want to face against a quest line on turn five. The benefit of this is it doesn't start in your opening hand like a quest line would. If you draw that's late, it's garbage. So that's good at least. I mean, sure, but that's what makes this card even more frustrating right they so i'll give you guys an example real fast okay before we even continue you remember this card um i think it's called whomper so blizzard nerfed this card because on five mana it felt like if you drew this card on five mana the game is basically over right this is the equivalent of this but the only difference now is that this is a legendary which is, means that it's, you're less likely to draw it so when you do draw it it's gonna feel hor it's gonna feel horrible for your opponent if you jam this on turn five. If you don't draw it, I mean you still have a really good demon hunter deck. As long as this is not like your last card, it's probably still worth putting into your deck. So am I excited to play against this? No. Um, this is a very good card, I think. <sighs> I don't know. What's the seven minute spells in Demon Hunter? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know, chat. I'm not excited for this.